Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzer and welcome back to another Skylanders Giants Battle Arena video. Of course, we're continuing Brock's Rump Roaster Ruckus playlist and today is the second last Battle Arena, Battle Arena number 6 titled Force Field Frenzy, whereby enemies are immune to attacks, knock them off or into the fire. And today's Skylander of choice is gonna be, drumroll please, right, Mr. Prison Break. So, uh, basically the idea of how this challenge works, as it pointed out before, uh, enemies no longer are able to be damaged. So, they have a force field around and basically what you have to do is you have to actually push them off uh, either the edge or as later on, they're right here in the middle, basically the fire will activate, which will then allow us to actually uh, place them into the fire and they will take damage off the fire, which will then allow us to obviously get rid of them uh, via that method. But, uh, there we go, so now the fire is active, so now we could actually go ahead and trick them into the fire. Now what you could do is you could place some of these crystals, which will have them, or in this case I'm using a prison break, so obviously there are crystals. But, if uh, you have any type of uh, character that can produce some sort of obstacles, either crystals or rocks, or uh, like how Bash can produce that fist uh, from the ground and all that. So if you could use anything like that, basically the enemies are going to be prone to wanting to actually do damage to the, uh, to those fists and or crystals or whatever it may be and wanting to get rid of them. So you could trick them to stand within the fire and take damage that way. Now enemies like this big guy right there, you want to actually kind of trick them to run up to the edge and then just use some sort of attack to knock them off like I did there. So I stood here, I let him run up, you kind of play like a matador, <laughs> you know, like where... Uh, Use them as a bowl, and uh, you will, uh, try to trick them into here, and then when they run up, uh, move out of the way and push them off the edge with whatever attack it may be. The other thing that you have to consider is that you want to have a solid attack uh, in terms of being able to produce an attack consistently in order to knock them off the edge, because if you've got an attack where it takes, let's say, a lot of time to actually charge it up, and then once you charge it up, it takes again a little while to charge it up. By the time that you charge up the second subsequent attack, they are most likely going to be uh, close enough off the edge to where your subsequent attack won't be able to knock them off. So that's why uh, someone like Prison Break works so great because uh, he can knock the, the enemies off. But as you can see, for example, with this uh, the fire enemy right here, I am having a hard time because my attack just simply does not do enough damage to knock him off the edge. So he will be, for example, a little more problematic and I will most likely have to use either my uh, spikes right here or this jumping attack to actually push him slowly off the edge. But as you can see, there are enemies that are going to give you more trouble. And in this case, he gave us a little bit of trouble there. So it's definitely one of those things where you see, I'm at 200 health. I did not even pay attention to that, which is very poor uh, decision making on my part. But you want to pay attention to things like that and it definitely is a little more difficult and one of the more uh, challenging stages and what makes it more challenging is all these different factors that you have to concern yourself with. Uh, there's going to be the fire to take damage from, bombs dropping on you, different types of enemies, uh, how to trick the enemies into uh, going into the fire, for example, right here. I could keep them within the pit uh, with the crystals. Okay, I'm going to try to take care of this big guy right away because he's obviously going to be the most challenging enemy. So I want to try to get rid of the targets that are going to be most dangerous right away. And as you can see, the other good thing about the crystals is that I can almost use them as a defensive tool to where use them to really kind of distract this guy so that he's basically focused on them. Meanwhile, giving me time to focus on some of the other enemies and allowing me to really kind of pay my full attention to them and then allowing me to refocus myself on him once I'm done. So now I can actually focus on him fully and slowly just kind of push him off the edge and there he goes and that takes care of that. Boom! Alright, so there's gonna be a fire starting up over here, some mace majors dropping in. So we're gonna just rinse and repeat the same process again right here. Now the unfortunate thing is that in this particular arena, as you noticed, might have noticed by now, uh, the fact is that you do not get uh, experience points. So that is definitely kind of a sucky part of this arena, but at the same time you have to take into consideration the fact that um, you get other stuff. You get, first of all, diversified gameplay because again, it's neat that the arenas are different and that they don't all feel the same. Now, as you can see here, it's more difficult even more so than previously because now i got to deal with two enemies that I would have a hard time moving. So now I would probably want to choose, pick and choose here to where maybe I would want to just walk away from them 
plant some crystals over here to trick one of them to maybe hopefully walk over there. Now, he doesn't really want to bite on that. Now, this is not good right here because I'm at 100 health and I've only dealt with one of them. So, I want to be careful right now and really take my time with this. Maybe plant a couple crystals over here and over here to let him kind of focus on those and then start pushing him with my crystal attack. There we go. And that gets rid of him. And there we go. Force Field Frenzy has been now complete and successfully so. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Basically, this concludes another Battle Arena episode. Of course, we're rewarded with some coins, but as I always point out, this arena has been completed by me multiple times, so that means, of course, that um, I get less coins than you would if you completed this arena for the very first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button, guys. That is the best way to show your support, and it only takes a second. Thanks a lot for doing it, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. Of course, if you could please share the video with other people, favorite the video, that would help me out a ton as well. Of course, make sure to be subscribed for regular video updates delivered to your subscription box. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. You guys are freaking awesome. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and see you later.